and we're going to be tackling a question that focuses on angles of elevation and depression. Now this one is actually a really um, quite tricky one in that there's a lot to do in this question. So let's have a look. PQRS is a rectangular horizontal car park. Um, now one thing that has been chopped off is the S here, so don't get, let's not get confused by that. Uh, PT is a vertical lamppost. PS is 50 meters. So I start to just put some of these things in. So we've got 50 meters here. And PQ is 40 meters. And the angle of elevation of T from S, this is really important that we know exactly what this means. Um, we've sort of got this um, immediately, you can see a right angle triangle here. And the angle of elevation that is measured from the horizontal going upwards um, from S, so looking towards T, of T from S is eight degrees. This is eight degrees right here. Um, calculate PT, which is the height of the lamppost, and TR, okay, which is this side coming down here. All right, so first of all, um, I immediately, as soon as I saw the angle of elevation, I was aware that it's this angle here, this right angle triangle. Um, it goes from P to S to T. So if I drag that triangle out and have a look at it, the base here is 50 meters. And I'm trying to first of all find PT. Okay, so it's this side here, X. All right, so it's just a bit of general trigonometry needed here. So um, let's label the sides. So we've got an opposite side and we've got an adjacent side. So it's gonna be the tan ratio. Tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Um, so in this case, it's eight degrees equals X over 50. And so TP or our X value is 50 tan eight degrees, okay? Which exactly, you know, that's exact. And then if we round it to uh, three significant figures, we get 7.02 meters, okay? All right, next, um, TR. Okay, so TR is this one coming down here. Now for this one, we're actually gonna need to work out the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle on the base. So the diagonal of the base, basically. Um, and then if I put this TR in pink, you can see there's another right angle triangle popping out here. So if I now draw that out, so it's a bit clearer, it's getting a bit busy already, isn't it? We've got T, we've got P, we've got R, we've got a right angle. Um, we're trying to find TR. Um, we know TP now, I'm gonna be really exact here. I'm just gonna call, I'm not gonna use the rounded answer, I'm gonna use 50 tan eight. And I really need to find PR, okay? So to find PR, I'm gonna have to do another bit of um, right angled work here, right angled triangle work with 40 and 50. Okay, so it's the Pythagoras theorem that I need to work out PR. So this is the triangle PQR here. That I'm just sketching out PQR, okay? And so 40 squared plus 50 squared equals PR squared. Okay, and if I work that out, I get uh, 4,100 equals PR squared. So PR is, to be exact, the square root of 4,100. So yep, I'm being very exact, as you can see here. Um, and so now I just need to work out, it's Pythagoras again, isn't it? So I just need to work out TR using Pythagoras theorem. So, um, so it's gonna be 50 tan eight all squared plus square root of 4,100 squared, which equals TR squared. Okay, and if we square root all of that left-hand side of that equation, we get TR equal to 64.4 meters. Apologies about the small writing. Hopefully you can work out my handwriting. I'm trying, and, I'm trying my best to squeeze all of this in on one page. All right, so we've got TR. Um, the next thing that we need to do then is work out the angle of elevation of T from Q. So from Q means we're originating from Q and it's the angle that's made going from the horizontal up to look at T. Okay, so imagine you're a little person looking at the ground and then looking, raising your head to look up at T. What angle would that be? Okay, so it's this little angle here. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is drag out this P, uh, Q, T, um, triangle out. So that's A, let's be clear, B. All right, so now we've got this. Okay, so we've got this angle here, and we know that this space is 40 meters, 
and we know from our previous work that TP is equal to um, 50 tonne heat. Again, being very precise, and now I need to find out the angle. So let's put the right angle in. This is the opposite. This is the adjacent. I'm going to be doing tan. So the tan of the angle is my 50 tan 8 over 40. And um, so my angle is actually 10 to the minus 1, 50 tan 8 over 40, which comes out as um, 9.96. Okay. All right. Now, final question, the finale. Um, so all of that was quite a heavy part A there, wasn't it? Part B. Um, so you know what I might do is just grab a picture of that and go onto the next page, give myself a bit of space because I can always refer back and get some information if I need it from here. Now, part C is asking me to find the angle of depression of R from T. Okay. So what I need to think about there is the angle of depression is, again, from T, measured from the horizontal. So um, if I just draw in a rough horizontal line there, um, of R from T. So it's going to be, um, if we imagine, oh, wrong color. There's that right angle triangle again. And you've got this sort of horizontal here. If I can work out this angle up here, and then can you see that that would make a right angle with the angle that I'm actually trying to find this, um, let's call it that. Okay, <laughs> I really apologize about this handwriting, it's terrible. Um, I just need to take away theta from um, 90 degrees to find this angle of, of depression here. Okay, yep, so let's be this plus this equals 90 degrees okay so eventually if i find theta then i can take it away from 90 and get my answer i'm going to drag out this triangle and make it a bit clearer so i've got p here i've got t here and i've got r here i've got a right angle i'm trying to find theta i know tp is what was it again 50 tan 8 50 tan 8 um i've also worked out tr in part a which was um, the square root, TR, what was it? Um, TR, 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 TR. Yeah, 64.4, uh, wasn't it? Um, so I could have that in my calculator from before, exact. Did I also find PR? Oh, PR is a bit easier, isn't it? PR is the square root of 4,100. I'll, I'll take that one instead. So I've actually got three sides available. I know three sides. I can use those to, um, to find theta. Right, what do I know? I know that this is the adjacent. I know this is the opposite. It's tan. So I'm going to do tan to the minus 1 to find my theta. Tan to the minus 1, um, opposite over adjacent. So it's going to be square root of 4,100 divided by 50 tan 8, which comes out as, I'm going to need my calculator at this point, <laughs> So um, the square root of 4,100 divided by 50 tan 8, and then do the inverse tan, so shift tan answer equals. Now this answer comes out as 83.737196. Okay, so as I said, these two angles are going to add up to 90. So all I have to do now is 90 subtract the answer on my calculator 90 subtract answer and i get an answer of 6.26 6 6.26 degrees and that is my angle of depression of r from t okay so if i just put that in there a bit clearer here that's this angle right here okay. obviously not to scale <laughs> okay so hopefully that was nice and clear that was a very bulky question, lots involved, but hopefully that's now consolidated your understanding of this topic.